into a walkthrough of my smart home dashboard. It's been a project that has taken months of work and countless refinements to bring together. When I set out to build this dashboard, I had a few goals. I did not like scrolling, I did not like scattered controls, I wanted everything in the house visible and accessible in one place at a glance. And I also wanted it to feel less like a control panel but more like a living, breathing space that reflected the home itself. So between a myriad of smart home elements packed thoughtfully into one space, I, I tried my best to balance functionality with aesthetics and to make this dashboard feel alive, cohesive and uniquely mine. The weather section may look familiar at first, inspired by the well-known clock weather card, but this is a complete recreation from the ground up. It's been redesigned to fit the glass morphic aesthetic of the dashboard with animated SVGs, daily rain prediction, a must here in the UK of course, and unique glass bars for clarity. The arc next to the clock tracks the sun's journey through the sky and at night transforms into a tiny starry sky with the actual moon phase. For early weather data, I've used Tomorrow IO which also powers a 12-hour temperature prediction graph. The energy card provides a clear overview of electricity and gas usage across the house. This is powered by the Hildebrand integration, capturing live data for effortless tracking. The media card pulls together all the Echo device functionality to one place. An announcement pop-up lets us instantly broadcast to specific rooms. Food is ready. The music request button brings every Echo device together for a unified listening experience. Built with bubble cards by Clues, one of my favorites. When music is playing, the latest active device appears above the controls with a unique icon, so we always know which room is playing. There's also a drop-in button that makes intercom style communication between rooms as easy as a single tap. An events pop-up provides quick access to set alarms, timers and reminders for any room. These events, whether created through Alexa or here on the dashboard, appear neatly in a scrolling list right alongside the top news and headlines, which I've grown to rely on to keep up with the latest. One of the areas I'm most proud of is the room cards column. This design took months to refine. Each bill shaped card gets highlighted when someone is present in that room and the card provides one touch access to automations, lights, climate, fans and blinds. The location cards for myself and my wife are especially smart. At home, they display our phone battery percentages. When we are away, Malaka has left home. The alarm is set to armed home. They show our current location. Malaka is now at Addenbrooke's hospital. But most uniquely, if we are on our way home, Malaka is now leaving Addenbrooke's hospital. The color bar fills as we approach with an ETA in minutes displayed as scrolling text. Malaka is reaching home in 25 minutes. Malaka is reaching home in 16 minutes. This effect took a lot of trial and error combining iOS shortcuts with webhooks to achieve something that feels truly alive. The house
Housekeeper's card brings our cleaning robots to life with personalities of their own. This bit is a hit with our kids. Robocrop for the garden, Optimus Grind to mop hard floors, and the Ferminator to clean the carpets each has its own dedicated card with animated controls to start, pause or dock. A quick tap also opens their respective apps for more granular settings. A scrolling banner above even shows which robot is currently cleaning which part of the house. And trust me, the effort it took to get this working was absolutely worth it. Finally, the quickfire card is one of the most powerful tools on the dashboard. With a single tap, it can turn off every light in the house, but it also takes a snapshot of what was on beforehand so you can restore the last switched off light configuration if you want. The heat button calculates a weighted average temperature of the house, factoring in room sizes and presence, a feature that ChatGPT magically helped me piece together. The blinds button allows control of all the blinds in the house in a single tap. The automate button acts as a kill switch for all automations, only unlockable with a passcode. And this too keeps a snapshot of what was turned off so that they can be restored later with a single press. The really cool scrolling text in the background? Yep, it actually pulls live system data. Gemini helped me figure that out. So in the end, this is just one interpretation of what a home assistant dashboard can be. It's my own humble take, born out of months of creativity, countless bug fixes, and downright obsession. It's still not complete. I've got the sidebar navigation and individual room dashboards to complete, and I'm hoping to extend the same aesthetic with unique takes for each room. If you watch this video all the way to the end, thank you so much and I'm looking forward to hear your thoughts on this project and learn from the community. Cheers.